I have come to pray with you. Some of you are facing a difficult problem. You are facing a thing that you do not know where it has come from. And even when the enemy strikes you, it seems impossible for you to locate the source of your problem. Brothers and sisters, until you can know what is causing your problem, you will never have victory over your adversary until you know who your enemy is because a lot of people are fighting things that are not their enemies. They are trying to fight people who are not even their adversaries. Just because somebody has caused you trouble, it does not mean he is your adversary. Just because somebody is in your way, it does not mean he is against you. Because there are some people who have been in your way unknowingly. And you are fighting against that person. You are fighting against a brother and sister in Christ Jesus. Know your enemy. Who is it that is against you? You see, the walls of Jericho were not brought down in just uh, a few minutes. They had to understood, they had to understand their enemy. You have to have that knowledge of warfare. You do not just go to a war to wage war with an enemy without knowing the strength of your enemy, without knowing whether he is stronger than you. Brothers and sisters, without knowing his weaponry, his arsenal. You know, uh, good news is, the scripture says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of, strong, to the pulling down of strongholds. So the weapons of God are mighty. They are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So that is the good news. You know, Jabez would have never succeeded in his mission if he did not know the cause of his problem. You know, Jabez uh, realized that the cause of his problem was a name. A name as small as it is. It was a limitation. You know, Jabez was born in a place in a in a situation where the mother was going through pain and based on her condition based on what was around her she named her son Jabez meaning pain sorrow now Jabez could not allow that to continue he prayed that God blesses him and enlarges his territory and the scripture says, God granted him his request. Brothers and sisters, you have to know the source of your problem. For Jabez, it was a name. Some of you have names that are not of God. Names that are for other uh, things, that are for other small, small gods. Names that are related to pain. Names that are related to sorrow. No wonder you have been afflicted. No wonder you are going through a situation. Names that are related to things that grab and take away things from you. A name could be a limitation to your, to, to your breakthrough. But I've come to pray with you. And let us believe in God that that thing will break. That that chain will be no more. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone who's watching me right now. You know their names. You know their problems. You know their situations. I speak to the source of their condition to leave each and every chain that has been put on them. I speak to it to break down in the name of Jesus. Your word says that the, that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Speak, Lord, to them. Speak better things in their lives. I speak the blood of Jesus upon their families, upon their businesses, upon each and everything that they are going through. Thank you, God, that you are a miracle-working God. I believe and trust that each and everything that has delayed their marriages, their relationships, their appointments, their workplace, their businesses, their future husbands, spouses, wives, is broken in the name of Jesus. 